want to start out, though, with this photo sent into Utah's Weather Authority Facebook group by Shauna Christensen of uh, some sunshine peeking through the sunflowers at her place in Lehigh. Uh, just kind of epitomizes the end of summer. A beautiful uh, view there. And we're gearing up for more uh, very warm summer weather, and we're off to a mild start this morning with a temperature of 69 in Ogden and Salt Lake, although 20 degrees lower than that in the Park City area. It's currently in the low 60s in Vernal, near 70 in Green River, just above that in St. George, where it's currently 72. And it's a very quiet morning. We had a few showers still lingering along the border with Colorado uh, late last night. Those tapered off. But in general, we've got fair skies across Utah and with high pressure building in today, uh, it's going to start to warm up even more. In fact, that high pressure by tomorrow slides a little to the east of us and that'll allow the temperature to climb even higher. But at the same time, that's going to open the door for a storm from the Pacific to make its way in from our north. And that'll bring some changes by the middle of the week. So out ahead of that, we'll get some wind out of the south, uh, which will help the temperature to climb as high as it will. But that's ahead of a dry cold front that'll move in on Wednesday, knocking the temperature down so the hot weather doesn't stick around very long. And then later in the week, uh, with the southerly flow developing, monsoon moisture will move back in and we'll gear up for some showers and thunderstorms. So a lot of variety, it looks like, over the next several days. This afternoon, though, we're forecasting 93 in Salt Lake, still above average for this time of year. It'll feel a lot like it did yesterday. Low 80s in Park City. You'll make it into the upper 90s in Kanab and in St. George. It looks like you'll peak at 102. Even hotter tomorrow, hovering pretty close to that through the middle of the week. But again, by uh, Thursday into Friday, that monsoon moisture moves in and you get a chance of showers and thunderstorms heading into Labor Day weekend with temperatures dropping and in northern Utah it's going to be sunny and warming all the way up near 100 degrees tomorrow if that's too hot for you you're in luck because that cold front will knock it back down uh, near 90 by Wednesday and Thursday but then by the end of the week we'll get a chance of some of the showers and thunderstorms developing as some of that monsoon moisture moves north so if you do have outdoor plans for the long holiday weekend uh, you might need to be flexible with those.